Europe spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana. From early morning until 10 in the evening, workers and engineers are shaping the future of European spaceflight by constructing the Ariane 6 launch facilities. With ESA's newest launcher's first flight planned for 2020, this massive project has to stay on schedule and so far it's doing so. Today one can already see the layout of the future Ariane 6 site with two zones, a brand new assembly hall and launch pad. As you can see in French Guiana with our different launcher, each launcher has its own launch pad. It's not the same that uh, in certain places in, in the world, uh, in the States, you have one launch pad for several launchers, but uh, that's not uh, our philosophy. Then uh, here, the, the main goal of having this new launch pad is to, to, to reach the final goal to diminish the, 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 the cost, the recurring cost of, of the, exploitation, the exploitation of the launch system. Then, the launch preparation of an Ariane 6 rocket starts in the long assembly building called BAL for Bâtiment d'Assemblage Lanceur. Here, the two stages of the Ariane 6 launcher are put together. The long and relatively low shape of this hall is indicative of a new approach towards launcher assembly. In the past, all Ariannes were assembled vertically. This time, it will be done horizontally. After the assembly process, the launcher will be moved to the launch pad. Here, the Ariane 6 will be placed upright and two or four boosters will be attached to the launcher. A 90-meter-high mobile gantry rolls over the pad and protects the launcher, while keeping it accessible up to a couple of hours before liftoff. Inside the tower, the payloads, already inside the fairing, are put on top of the launcher. Weighing 8,500 tons, this gantry will be the heaviest moving building in Europe. The launch pad has a massive concrete hole with two long tunnels at each side, so that when the Ariane 6 engines are fired, the flames will escape through these flame deflectors. This new process and design are meant to significantly reduce the launcher preparation time. The duration on Ariane 5 actually lasts more than 30 days. Now, with the organization Ariane 6, with three days integration of the launcher in the BAL, in the assembly building, which is behind me, and f which is followed with the six days of operation on the launch zone that's made together only nine days. The production and launch process of Ariane 6 has been largely aimed at reducing recurring costs in order to deliver a competitive launcher for the global commercial satellite launch market. At the same time, Ariane 6 will be a versatile rocket. Once in orbit, Ariane 6's upper stage will have the capability to be reignited so as to place multiple satellites in different orbits. The launcher also comes in two different configurations. Two boosters for single payload launches or four boosters for multiple or heavier payloads. Together with Vega C planned for launch in 2019, Europe Spaceport is ready to consolidate a leading position in the launcher market while also always providing Europe with its own independent access to space.